I had no clue that Cece's slogan is beyond pizza? Since when? Some vegans are gonna walk in there and they're gonna be like, Where, where's my Beyond Meat? Where is my tree cow? And the waitress is gonna be like, ma'am, this is a CeCe's. <laughs> Get out! Today I'm gonna eat at CeCe's Pizza. I'm gonna go in there, take my camera, film. It's gonna be a great time. I'm gonna taste test most, if not all, of the different pizzas and the desserts and the sides and basically everything. It's gonna be a lot of fun. And I haven't been to a CeCe's in probably... 10 plus years maybe? I did do a CC's taste test when I couldn't drive and I got everything delivered and it was so expensive first of all because it was not the buffet price obviously and everything was cold. It was a very different experience. This is a whole new thing. Okay. I always get kind of nervous filming in a public um, but especially today because this area isn't, you know, the classiest. And that's okay. Listen, I don't live in a classy area either, but vlogging in public with a camera in these areas is a little scary. So I'm just going to try to be, you know, very low key and chill. And of course, I'm going to rate every item from one to 10. I'm going to be brutally honest. If it's disgusting, I'm going to say, CC, this is nasty tea. <laughs> but before we start guys give this video a big thumbs up It's the easiest way to support me and I need the support today because girl I am actually scared. Okay, so thumbs up also subscribe if you're new here I stay at hotels and I review the room service and the amenities. I eat brand new fast food items It's all food based, but now I have a lot of different different content happening. So subscribe. Okay. I'm getting super hot in here Let's go I'm excited. Look at this vein. This vein has just been popping out so much. I'm like insecure about it. For real. Hello, how are you? Um, can I can I just get a um lunch, I guess, like the lunch um okay. buffet um and a drink? Drink that'll be all? Yes. It's gonna be 1060. Okay, so it's actually so empty, guys. Love that for me and my anxiety. <laughs> they literally just opened, so there's actually no pizza out yet. So I have to wait a little bit, which is totally fine. Um, I'm gonna get my drink and I think that there's a little salad bar moment happening. So I might start with that. So we have some brownies for right now, but look, see? Oh, there's some pasta too. Very nice. And I think chicken noodle soup possibly. And a cute little salad bar. Okay, guys. I'm seated. You can't really see um, the food because the table's a bit too too small. But I got my salad. So I got some, I think, romaine lettuce, croutons, banana peppers, little like bacon bit crumbs. You see those? They're like really tiny dried up like desert crumbs. And then croutons. Um, so the salad toppings didn't look that great. Like for example, the carrots were not sliced up. It was whole baby carrots. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna eat a salad with whole baby carrots in it. You know what I mean? That's just not gonna happen. I'm not a horse. I am part cow though. Oh, by the way, the silverware is all plastic, so it's kind of hard to get into those croutons without breaking the floor. Mmm. <laughs> this is good. I expected to rash, but it's good. Mmm. This is just the first course, girlies, okay? I really like it. The lettuce tastes fresh. The croutons taste great. Very crunchy. They have some garlicky flavor to them. Those really dried up bacon bits do add a nice artificial bacon hammy flavor that just gives it more of a farm fresh taste. <laughs> and the ranch. It's pretty good. It does taste kind of store-bought, but like good store-bought ranch, which is rare. It all works. It tastes like a really good salad. Mm. And the banana peppers. Nice and sour. Crunchy. It tastes good. So maybe that baby carrot was like an anomaly and everything else is really fantastic. Love that for me. By the way, guys, did you notice something different about me? I got my ears pierced. Do you love it? So I first got my ears pierced back when I was probably like 20. I'm 29 now. And um, I just got it like at the mall, like with a little, you know, like little thing. And I loved having my ears pierced, but I got lazy. And I would take them out and leave them out for like days. They closed up. They closed up, girl. Also, I just really stopped caring about my appearance because me and Alejandro got together 
and we both just like <laughs> gave up girl we literally gave up i just stopped caring so my ears closed up i haven't had them pierced ever since and now i got them pierced at a professional place it was way less painful first of all and second of all they look so good right oh my gosh um i got these little black squares but in the future like once they heal I want little silver rings, like the tiny ones that just like, it's like, ooh. not like a whole like Selena hoop, which is stunning. But on me, I don't, <laughs> I can't pull that off, girl. Como la flor. Oh, I love Selena so much. She, she was truly one of the most iconic singers ever to exist. I love her. Anyways, just little hoops. Be dainty. I should have gotten less salad because I'm probably not going to finish this. I still have a lot to eat. That was not smart of me. I always think with my stomach when I get food. You know what? I can like eat this throughout the meal too. I'll leave it here as a side. Anyways, they just brought out some pizza. I'm gonna go get a bunch of slices. So we can try them, girl. Let me get my thumbnail quickly. Okay, sorry. So, <laughs> I got some pepperoni, which has little pepperoni cups on it. Love that. I got this white Alfredo pizza, okay? I got this, what looks to be squares of some sort of meat. Maybe ham, maybe bologna. <laughs> That's not bologna, but maybe chicken. Not sure. Mystery meat. And then we have this little spinach square right here. So this is just the second course, guys. I'm gonna have like five courses. Let's first try the pepperoni. Mmm. Not bad. Can you guys see me? I wish you guys could see the food too. To make it just more of a delicious video. Hold on, let me see. Mmm. Is that better? I can do this. Mmm. Hmm. There we go. That's good. Mmm. Mmm. I like the whole thing so fast, girl. That's good. You know, okay. Let's just state the obvious. This is cheap pizza. Right? I mean, the price was, what, $10 for, like, a whole buffet? That's a great price. So, of course, it is a cheap pizza. But it's good cheap pizza, okay? It has a nice, thin, floppy crust. It doesn't really have any flavor, but it's just a, it's a nice floppy base. We like that. But it's not soggy. The pepperonis are actual perfection. I am very picky when it comes to pepperonis. Like, for example, what was the place that had nasty pepperonis recently? Was it Golden Corral? Their pepperonis tasted too real. Was it them? No, it was Costco, Costco. Costco's pepperonis tasted too real, too like organic. They didn't have that nice nasty grease flavor, right? Whereas these pepperonis, they have it. They have all the trashiness I need in my life. They're salty, tangy, really oily, love that. The marinara tastes basic, simple, it's fine. And the cheese actually has a pretty sharp flavor to it. So I'm impressed by that. We love it. So I'm gonna give the pepperoni pizza a nice, for cheap pizza, 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10? Okay, period. Let's try this spinach moment. It's very thin. It's like a piece of paper. Crustified paper. That's all I want. <laughs> Someone's looking at me. Um, I don't like that paper thin crust. It's very crispy, but it tastes like pizza on a cracker. And that's not what crackers are meant for, queen. The spinach itself tastes like spinach, and that's not a compliment. Listen, I don't mind spinach, but it has to be surrounded by other flavors to make it taste good, because spinach is spinach, right? And there is not much else happening here. I don't taste any marinara sauce, any white sauce. It just tastes like spinach and plain cheese on a cracker. So this is a 2 out of 10. Sorry, girl. By the way, the soda's really good. Mm, quickly, I did want to mention, I kind of want a third 
ear piercing right here but just on one ear to give it more of like a lopsided look i feel like my look is evolving do you guys like this little t-shirt chest day was today oh. and i just feel like i'm getting more confident getting prettier because i think that my confidence is making me prettier if that makes sense right not to sound conceited it's just like confidence makes you hotter it's just a fact enough about me let's try this alfredo looking pizza No. Oh. This is a thicker crust and fluffier. Um, I don't know. It really tastes like sandwich bread <laughs> with like, by the way, no one can hear me over here. I'm like in the corner alone. So do not worry. The employees cannot hear me dragging the food. I just, I want to make that clear because I don't ever want to come off as like rude or like being in my own little world, not caring about anybody else. It tastes like sandwich bread with a tiny layer of like Alfredo sauce you can barely taste and some really, really plain cheese. I don't know if they use a different cheese um, on the pepperoni pizza, but the pepperoni pizza's cheese had a much sharper flavor. This tastes really plain. Like it isn't salty cheese. It's not tangy. It's giving nothing. Yeah. I'm not in salt. I'm not. I'm giving that a 2.5 out of 10. Okay, let's try this mystery meat one. Um, it's very, very thin. I can do the worm. <laughs> oh, okay. It's not bad. Let me taste this meat by itself. Hold on. What is that? Is that chicken? Tastes like turkey. I swear it. I swear it. It tastes like lunch meat turkey, but like the really processed turkey that's like shaped into like a perfect little circle. You know what I'm talking about? I think it's Oscar Mayer. Tastes like that. The turkey is almost giving a little bit of a hamminess, so there's a slight ham and cheese vibe going on here. But once again, just like with the Alfredo one, it really doesn't have any flavor happening besides the little ham, the little turkey pieces, and um. This one has a thinner crust, so it's not as sandwich bready. It is more of a cracker, but um, once again, not it. Not good. That's not, uh. I'm giving that one a three out of 10. So, so far, the only pizza that I've genuinely liked was the pepperoni. That was strong, it was strong. But um, we have a few more flavors to try. We have pasta to try and tons of desserts. So stay tuned. Oh, also guys, I am wanted to tell you guys about this guy that I met the other day. <laughs> that, that sounds funny. No, so um, I was at Publix with Alejandro and our friends and they were giving out um, cookie samples right and the Publix employee was like next to it and I grabbed one and I was like thank you <laughs> and I ate it and it was like an older gentleman um, which is not the typical person that comes up to me but he randomly said to me you look so much healthier in person <laughs> and I was like what do you mean and he was like you look so much healthier and I was like oh do you watch me and he was like yeah and I was like, it's so nice to meet you. He was so nice. I wasn't sure if it was an insult or a um, compliment, but I just took it as a compliment, girl. I was like, thank you. I'm a so buff or something. It just, like, touched my heart. You know, I loved it. Anyways, I'm going to go get my next plate. Okay, next plate. We have a piece of cheesy bread. Okay, we have, I think this is ham and cheese pizza, similar to the turkey one. <laughs> I'm assuming it was turkey. I think this is sausage with... A possible pineapple right here. I'm not sure. Looks like a pineapple to me. And then we have barbecue chicken. That's fun. That's different. Uh, they don't have the mac and cheese pizza today. I was very pumped to try it, but let's try this old cheesy pizza. Mm -hmm. The cheesy bread is decent. It does have a slight... um. Once again, sandwich bread flavor, but the cheese on top is t is tangy and sharp. And it is a very fluffy piece of cheesy bread, so it has a nice texture. It's crispy on the outside. I'm gonna give that, I think, a nice six out of 10. It was fine. It was great. Next up, ham and cheese. Mmm. 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 Mm. Alone. Mmm. Mmm, it's good. 
There's a lot of people coming in now. And a lot of them are like big men. <laughs> I get intimidated. Don't look at me, daddy. <laughs> so, the ham and cheese A. It's A. This one has ham on it. It tastes like ham. It's supposed to taste like ham. We love that. The cheese tastes kind of sharp, almost like a nice sharp cheddar. And the Alfredo sauce actually popped here. I could really taste it. It was a nice thick layer. So I'm so impressed by that. It had a very nice salty, creamy taste to it. Once again, it was a little trashy, but in a good way. Right? Oh. So I'm gonna give the ham and cheese one a nice 7.5. Yes. Okay. Let's try this sausage with the possible piece of pineapple. Mmm. Mm-hmm. 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 Sorry. There's people looking at my camera. It's making me a little bit paranoid. So, if they keep doing it, I'm going to switch to my phone and just hold it just in case, but let's just play it by ear. Let's try this piece of pineapple here. Not as pineapple. You guys know, I'm not a big fan of pineapple on pizza. <laughs> it's, it isn't that bad here though. The sausage kind of balances it out because the sausage is nice and salty. It's got those spices and the pineapple has the sweetness. Besides the pineapple, it's a pretty decent sausage pizza. It tastes just like the pepperoni one, but with sausage and instead of pepperoni. I do prefer the pepperoni, though. I think it was more salty and more flavorful. But the sausage is fine. That's fine. I'm giving it a nice 6.5 out of 10. Okay? Now, the barbecue chicken pizza. So, I think that those little squares are chicken, not turkey. But they really did taste like turkey. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. The second plate was overall much better than the first. Let's be honest, girls. The chicken was fine. I couldn't really taste it because of that strong barbecue sauce. So it worked. Just plain processed turkey chicken, right? Now the barbecue sauce is the main star here. They put a lot of it. It's actually very sweet but it somehow works with the salty cheese so we love that it's tangy too it's it's almost syrupy i like that and it goes good with the plain weird chicken i'm gonna give it a nice seven out of ten I don't know, i'm feeling paranoid now it's just getting fuller mm. so i think i'm done trying pizza now i'm gonna try pasta and then dessert and then i'll be done because i'm getting full Okay, so um, I'm gonna finish filming on my phone because there are people sitting very, very close to me. So I'm just gonna be more low key, okay? I got the Alfredo, it looks stunning. And the marinara, oh, gorgeous. Honestly, this is the most appetizing thing that I've seen this month. And then we have all the desserts. So this is like a cinnamon bun type thing. This is like a apple pizza, some sort of like custardy looking pizza and like a brownie. So, yay. Let's try the marinara noodles, okay? You know, it's not horrible. It really tastes like plain noodles with store-bought marinara sauce. So it's not bad, I'm not grossed out, but that's all it is. So I'm giving it four out of 10, okay? Now let's try the Alfredo. I almost drooled. Oh my gosh. I'm out of soda. I have to get more. Um, <laughs> that is giving thick, like, old milk on noodles. That is the vibe here. It doesn't even taste like store-bought Alfredo sauce. Ooh, I'm a muscle. It doesn't even taste like store-bought um, Alfredo sauce. It just tastes literally like milk and noodles. So... That's that no, bah, bah. That's a one out of ten for me. That was a that was a bit vile, a bit raw. Eh? Let's try the cinnamon bun sticky bun moment. <laughs> oh, buttery. Oh. Mmm. 
Mmm. Mmm. That's giving. Oh, I want more. Mmm. Mmm. This might be my favorite thing here so far. It's so pretty. Mm hmm. I like the whole thing. <laughs> it's not the most moist cinnamon bun out there. It is a bit dry, but the good news is the dough itself is so fluffy that that kind of helps with the dryness. It isn't, it isn't, you know, dense and dry. It's fluffy and dry. So that is better. Flavor's fantastic. It's caramely sweet, but there's like a salty butteriness to it that goes so well with the sweetness. It really, really works. Was it the best cinnamon bun ever? No. Was it a good one? Yes. I'm giving it a nice eight out of 10. Very strong. Next up, let's try the brownie. Um, the chocolatey flavor is kind of dull. Like, it's more sugary and sweet than it is chocolatey. And I'm craving more of a chocolatey vibe, like a richer vibe. But it still is, like, fine. It's giving cosmic brownie, but less chocolatey. So it has that same kind of fudgy processed texture with more sugar, less chocolate. I'm giving that a 5 out of 10. No, not bad, not bad. Now let's try this apple pizza. Oh my god. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. That's like a 9 out of 10, guys. It's just like an apple pie on a really thin pizza. It has this like crumble on it that adds this nice texture. You can also feel like the apple pieces. I can taste the cinnamon vibes, nutmeg, all of it. It's great. That's a great little apple pizza. I'm giving that, ooh, I think a 9 out of 10, like I said. Period. Okay, last dessert. I think it's like a custard pizza. Mmm. 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 <laughs> mm hmm It tastes like, like, instant vanilla pudding on a pizza, warmed up with, like, a crumbly, short, bready crumbles. Like, buttery, flaky crumbles on it. That is the vibe. So, it is simple, yeah. It just, it tastes like pudding and, and crust. But somehow, it works. It is too sweet. Like I said, it's very, very sweet. I think the crumble adds adds a lot of sweetness. But still, I liked it. So, I am giving that an 8 out of 10. I am done trying everything. I'm going to go. I'll see you next video. I love you so much. Subscribe. Bye.